Hi guys, welcome to this week's Sunday afternoon nap. I'm sorry, I haven't got my Confederate Army finished. Uh, the figures from Callista have not arrived. Hopefully they'll turn up this week and get that third base there finished. But I've got one, two, and there's the third when it's finished. Uh, regiments, 60 figures in each. Two guns. Again, this one just needs finishing off. And I've got my mounted commander there. The general will be used. The second one of these figures on one of the guys from the commander figures from Callista. Uh, hopefully, I think there's a standard bearer in there. So I can have one of these guys with a, a standard bearer on a horse next to him as my general. So that's where I'm up to with my um, epic 15mm American Civil War Force, the Confederate side anyway. Uh, I want to get these finished before I start the Union because I get sidetracked and these end up getting left and I'll do the Union then go, ah, I haven't finished these. So I need to get these done first. However, I did mention last week I was going to have a go at making some uh, um, American Civil War rail fencing. Um, I've had a go. I'm pleased with how it's turned out. I'm going to Clear these out the way now and I'll show you what they look like. Okay guys, so here we go. So what I've used to make the, um, the stink rail fencing is tongue depressors. I use these quite a lot. And plain old matchsticks. And these ones have uh, put the heads on. So I've had to cut the heads off with a craft knife. I'll give you, open this up, you can still see there's bits of heads all in there. Because I've cut them off into the box. <laughs> so I'll move that out of the way. And then there's some I've previously prepared. You can see I've just uh, scraped the heads off. To make them usable. Now you can, if you go to hobby shops and that, you can get these matchsticks already but without any heads but rather than the way things are at the moment um there's not that many shops open due to lockdown so i went and got a box of matches from my local asda and cut the heads off them and that's the way i've done it these i've got loads of so, so. so what i did was i decided on how i was going to do it so what i went for was a w pattern uh, that way at the end of one fence will meet the end of the other fence and keep the zigzag um, pattern going. So there is one done. Um, all I did was I used super glue. So I measured out where I was going to put the first one. A couple of blobs of super glue stuck it down. And when it was set, I got the little overhangs. The overhang was roughly the same. Did the same again, and then again and again, and then built it up layer by layer. So that's that one done, just ready for painting up. What I actually did was, I've got a picture, uh, which I got off the internet of some real uh, snake rail fencing, and. They were like a grey colour, obviously, because wood goes grey when ages. Um, so what I've decided to do was sort of try and make mine the same. So I actually used a non-oil wash on the uh, the fence, uh, painted the base brown, and then give it a coat of um, flock, the same one that I used for um, my 15mm miniatures. And it, it, it is finished, and I'm, I'm pleased with how it's turned out, really. So that's it. To, to six inch length of snake rail fencing. And it, you put it around the field. I'll just quickly uh, put that one there, like so. If you put it around the field this way, they will actually join up and continue the, uh, the pattern going around. And I put some figures behind yeah I think the they'll do I, I think they're 
perfect size for the 15 mil. So yeah, so I'm, I'm, I made up with them. Then good, quick, easy way of doing them. Uh, because it's 15 mil, and I'm going to be playing on a smaller table at the, at the time being. Uh, I'm only going to need uh, maybe a dozen of these for the table just to go around a couple of fields. So I'm going to crack on with these while I'm waiting for me figures from Callista to come through. And then I'm going to finish this off. And that's my goal this week. I'm going to try and get eight to ten of these done and get this uh, Confederate Army finished. Ready for next week. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and stay safe and see you all next week.